everyone welcome back my name is zane welcome back to monument and today we'll be talking about arrival we've got some big news on arrival some big news i want to share with everyone on this channel so i hope you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe and leave a comment we're going to be going for a price analysis and a price prediction throughout the arrival share today as well now before we go any further let me declare that this video is not financial advice this video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes now ups and dp world delivering world first electric vehicles charge using off-grid solar power at expo 2020 dubai now in dubai the uae october the 3rd 2021 from the x-ray machine to the telephone throughout history world expo have been the home for inventions and technology that change our way of life expo 2020 dubai is no exception as the official logistic partner ups is working with dp world the official premier global trade partner of expo to showcase its transition to clean energy with ups electric vehicles being charged for the first time with an off-grid charging system to power on-site deliveries. Today's deployments of the world's first off-grid electric vehicles charging system is a demonstration of how Expo 2020 is connecting minds and creating the future. This was said by Scott Price, president of UPS International. Our joint efforts to allow us to decentralize the charging system eliminate the need for electricity in charging vehicles at Expo 2020 and further our goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2050. Now, during the six months mega event, UPS will use the system to charge its fleet of electric vehicles, developing collaboration with Arrival at DP World's Flow Pavilion. Sunlight will be captured by panels on the pavilion's roof with the solar energy flowing through an inverter to an off-grid battery energy system unit which powers the charging station. Now it's also said that DP World is proud to work with UPS demonstrating the next generation of delivery vehicles at Expo 2020 Dubai. Now of course this is exceptional news. This is brilliant news for UPS. It's brilliant news for Expo. It's also excellent news for Arrival. Now, UPS journey towards a less carbon intensive future is enabled through one of the industry's largest private alternative fuel advanced technology fleets and a role in laboratory of more than 13,000 vehicles that drive more than 1 million greener miles each business day. UPS recently released its corporate sustainability report with a goal to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050 including fueling 40% off-grid operations with alternative fuel by 2025. To learn at a glance more about UPS recent efforts to address global challenges and social equality, check out UPS sustainability highlights. Now, once again, this is exceptional news for UPS because we do know, we do have a great understanding that UPS has ordered thousands of vehicles from Arrival and this is exceptional for Arrival. Always making headlines with their electro vehicles and just how many orders and partners they'll be working with. This is truly, truly excellent. Now, an additional news with Arrival. Arrival handpicked by UK governments to showcase an exclusive global investment summit in London. Additionally, exceptional news that we will be talking about today. Arrival will be highlighted as one of the Green Dozen UK-based companies excelling in areas of sustainability, innovation and green technology. The summit will welcome some of the world's most prominent decision makers, investors, C-Suit exclusive C-suit executives and, head of and heads of major political institution. London, UK, October 7th. Pioneers of a unique new method of design and production of affordable electric vehicles, EVs, by local micro factories. Today announced it's been selected by the UK governments to showcase leaders of the business world at the Global Investment Summit in London. Working towards the delivery of Prime Minister 10 point plan for a green industrial revolution. The summit will be hosted by the PM and supported by members of the royal family, bringing together 200 of the world's most prominent decision makers, 
C-suit executives and investors to the UK. Now the summit takes place on Tuesday 19th October in central London followed by an evening reception at Windsor Castle where Arrival will be featured as one of the Green Dozen, a group of 12 companies behind the latest cutting-edge innovations that can help cement the UK's position as a world-leading center for green technology, while highlighting the global positive impact of Arrival's technology and a new method of EV manufacturing. Attendees will be able to experience Arrival game-changing zero-emission electric vehicles through digital experiences. And hear from the Arrival president, Avinash Rugaba as part of the panel discussion. From the startup to the unicorn, how the right business environment makes it happens. Alongside CEO of Transwire, Graphcore, Dark Trace, and moderated by Aline Burbridge. So once again, this is absolutely excellent news for Arrival. All granted to Arrival by the UK government, this is huge. This will gather a lot of positive attention towards Arrival. Plenty of positive attention. As an innovative British company, this will be truly extraordinary. And it's going to put a lot more investors interested in Arrival to the forefront of Arrival's thoughts. So today, like I said, we'll also go through a price analysis and possibly a price prediction for Arrival. Now, Arrival currently sits at $12.66. That is a long way from where Arrival was earlier this year, back in the middle of June, when the price per share for Arrival was $23.34. Now, as we speak, where we are right now is almost half the price. And at its all-time low, Arrival was just under $10 per share, $9.99. That was incredible for anyone who got to purchase this share below $10. Absolutely incredible investment. Now, something to understand with Arrival is that the share outstanding is quite huge. Share outstanding is over 620 million shares. That's a lot of shares. You compare that with Tesla, Tesla outstanding shares is just under 1 billion shares. Tesla will definitely split their shares plenty more times as the price keeps on increasing. Now share supply is a very important thing when it comes to shares and stocks. It's because if share supply did not matter, companies would not be increasing their share supply and they wouldn't be decreasing their share supply whenever they feel like it. If it did not matter, they wouldn't care. But clearly, companies do care. Especially Apple. Apple shares right now $142 and Apple is notorious for being a company that likes to increase its share supply. Why does it do this? Because the share price just keeps on skyrocketing. Each time the share price goes up too close to $200, Apple likes to split their shares, double their supply, and bring the price back down to around $100, which makes it more approachable, easier for people to buy and invest because it looks like a cheaper share. It looks like you're getting more for your money. It looks like it's easier to invest in something that costs less. And Apple is a great company that will keep on profiting for decades to come. So the cheaper the share is the more people will invest. And Apple understands this principle. They understand this better than most. This is why they keep on increasing their share supply. Apple outstanding share supply is over 16 billion. Now, if we take a look at Tesla shares, 782 million per share for Tesla. That's the cost right now. But the supply of Tesla shares, well, you might be quite surprised. Public float is around 801 million. But quite interestingly, shares outstanding stands at 1 billion. I've seen rumors that suggest that the share supply or shares outstanding is just under 1 billion, but it's somewhere around the 1 billion mark. You see, if Tesla keeps on doubling their shares to 16 billion shares, their share price will be much lower just like Apple. Why is this? Because both companies have people investing in them heavily. And some people think that Tesla is overvalued right now, overvalued. And I'll explain to you exactly why I don't think Tesla shares are overvalued. 
because Tesla shares have been extremely high since January this year. Since January this year, Tesla shares have been around 793 US dollars. Tesla has definitely split their shares in stocks. They've definitely done that to cut the price down and to increase the supply of shares in circulation. They've definitely done that. January, the start of January, the price of Tesla shares was similar to what it is right now. It was over 793 US dollars. If this share was overvalued, I promise you, it would have lost a lot of volume by now, at least almost a year later, and it hasn't lost any volume. May this year, it was around 625 US dollars, but still it rose back up. It rose back up to above 782 US dollars. That's incredible. Reason why I'm talking about Apple and Arrival is why share supply is important. To explain to everyone how, how being an electric car company will possibly turn out for Arrival. Especially given that Tesla has 1 billion shares in 1 billion shares outstanding, Arrival has around 600 billion shares outstanding. Is Arrival that company that can still 10x? Can it still achieve 120 US dollars? I think this will be around three to five years from now. I think this share will definitely 10x. The value of the Arrival company is exceptional. The value of their technology is exceptional. They're revolutionizing the way how we create vehicles, how we create vehicles and where we create vehicles. Arrival will be manufacturing vehicles in a completely different way and they will continually get better in the future. And they haven't scratched the surface of what's possible with their technology and overall the electric vehicle market. Arrival will continue to capitalize on its technology and the electric market as it develops which is why I think that Arrival is definitely a 10X company in the space of three to five years. We're talking around the time of 2025. Arrival will be around $100 per share. They will be one of the leading electric companies to supply delivery vans, to supply buses, to supply vehicles, to manufacturing. They have a unique place in the industry, in the electric manufacturing vehicles industry. This gives them a great advantage in this space, similar to how Tesla has a huge advantage in the electric space. Tesla has a huge network of superchargers. The US, they have at least two or three gigafactories in the US and they're building more gigafactories as we speak. But their huge supercharger network that they keep on growing, this gives them a huge amount of value. Because when you buy a Tesla vehicle, you can charge it at almost any charging point in the world. When you buy a Rivian or you buy a Porsche or you buy a Mercedes electric vehicle, you can't charge those anyway. You can't charge them at Tesla superchargers. You know what this does to Tesla? It gives Tesla a huge advantage. And I do believe that Arrival will have a huge advantage above other companies who are trying to do the exact same thing. And once Arrival does have a huge advantage, especially in the market of technology and its customers, this will allow it to easily 100x in the next two to five years. Anyway, this was my simple price prediction and analysis going forward into the future for companies such as Arrival and keeping a close eye on Tesla because they're both electric manufacturing vehicle companies. They're doing things vastly different but in a different way, different types of vehicles, but they still both make electric vehicles. Tesla has been doing it for a lot longer than many companies, including Rivian, Arrival, Canoe. Tesla has been doing this for a long time. Tesla has a huge advantage. And now it's time for other companies such as Arrival to gain their advantage. Without having an advantage in the market, you will be like everyone else. And you don't wanna be like everyone else because everyone else does average results. Tesla does absolutely exceptional results. No one would ever guess that Tesla would ever be where it is right now, the most valuable car company in the world, and they don't make a lot of cars. VW, Toyota, they still make more cars. Mercedes, BMW, all these, they make more cars than Tesla, but Tesla is more valuable. No one would have ever guessed this would ever happen. Imagine what will happen when Tesla is making more cars, more electric vehicles than any other manufacturers who are making petrol vehicles. That's gonna be the day Tesla is absolutely king. They're already king, but 
It's going to get a lot more crazy in the next 5 to 10 years for electric vehicles and electric vehicle manufacturers. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a like.